okay good day guys good day to you all welcome back to the formula sports channel thanks for being here the support as always is much appreciated so guys tyree mcgee xjc and overview standout tyree mcgee will be doing a this video is about mcgee right and his performance for Cassio Pen in the Belgian Pro League versus Beersha, right? And it gives me great pleasure to do this video because trust me, man, it's always good. It's always a special occasion, in my opinion, when a, a young Jamaican, locally born, locally bred, right? Jamaican player makes an appearance, makes his first real appearance, right? in a european league especially a league as big as the belgian pro league you know this is his second run out in the belgian pro league for cassio pen but the first time he would have um made a substitute appearance for you pen it would have been it wasn't a lot of minutes it was like a minute or two right in saturday's game against bear shot he would have gotten more minutes right he got 12 minutes, came on in the 78 minute and there was not a lot of extra time, right? To be honest with you, I didn't get to watch this match live. However, and, and truth be told, it was my fault. But however, I did I actually, guys, run up two things. Run up the likes for Tyreek McGee and run up the likes for me because honestly, I spent money to literally get a hold of this game just so i could watch it for two reasons one i personally wanted to see how well the player performed and two i wanted to be able to give you guys because i know many of you probably did not see it i wanted to be able to give you guys as good a synopsis as i could as to the player's performance against bear shot and such a gun so i got the match yesterday and so i'm delivering it to you guys today so first I'm going to give you guys the stats for Tyreek's performance and then I'm going to give you guys the eye test, right? From my um, perspective, obviously. So guys, Tyreek McGee played 12 minutes, came on in the 78th minute, right? Replaced Emmanuel Agbadu. Hopefully I got that pronunciation right and he is a center back, right? So it was clearly... You know, a very offensive minded change. You know, and, and UPen were up 2 0 at this point in time and were, you know, in the ascendancy in the game. So he played 12 minutes, replaced a centre back, right? He had 13 touches the entire game, right? Or the entire time he was on the pitch, right? He attempted 10 passes, right? Nine of them were successful at a 90% passing accuracy. He had one key pass, one attempted long ball, and the long ball was successful. He had one dribble attempt, it was successful, right? He had one, he engaged in one ground duel and he won it, right? He lost possession once. So that's basically his statistical rundown for his 12 minutes on the park. And you know, these stats are not bad at all in 12 minutes. These stats are not bad. For starters, it showed that he was very involved in the 12 minutes that he was on the park. Right? He was very involved. From the, you know, just the stats alone tell you that he was very involved in the little time that he was on the pitch. So that is good. When I was watching this match, it was not to, you know, with the expectation that, you know, to see Maggie, you know, ball, so to speak. You know, it was just from my perspective. It was just to see whether or not the player looked comfortable, right, in this big Belgian Pro League and whether to see if the player, you know, looked like a Belgian Pro League player. And this is where the eye test comes in now, right, because in my opinion, the player performed creditably well and looked very comfortable. He looked it, it, it didn't seem as if this was a, a big stage for him. It didn't seem as if you know he was a deer in headlights or anything like that he was very comfortable right and he performed creditably well and that really for me was a, a 
a major major thing for me right major thing for me in terms of that was very very encouraging for me to see personally right so the number 20 Tariq McGee as I said he came on for a center back Emmanuel Agbadu right and this is now the eye test from my perspective right so he came on for the center back right and he was playing in a left midfield um, type of role as you can see from the heat map on the screen and he also drifted a couple of times into the half spaces so he occupied the wide channel and also the half spaces right in majority of the time that he was on the pitch right so his first touch you know basic and this was like a couple seconds into the game his first touch he wanna throw in off his first touch right he, he closed down a beer shot player very quickly right about five yards outside of his penalty box and he tried to nick it off the the beer shot player because the beer shot player his touch was a little bit heavy right and he showed a, a bit too much of the ball Tyree Maggie right and Maggie tried to nick it off of his feet with a pass right and so he tried to nick it and in the same play or uh, with the same touch that he tried to nick it he tried to pass it to a Cassio Penn teammate of his but the bear shot player that he tried to nick it off his feet or his foot rather the player stretched his leg and so the pass right deflected off the bear shot player and went out for a throwing right to Cassio Penn his second touch it was a switch of the play from the right flank right to Maggie who was out left now the initially Maggie's first touch was not the best because he almost tripped while trying to control the ball as a matter of fact he, he tripped and he almost fell right he almost fell but luckily for him um the ball went behind him and there was a Cassio Penn player who was making an overlapping run and was able to to clean up so to speak and you know he that Cassio Penn player continued you know to progress the play down the left flank right but for him now he kind of ran into some difficulties and that brings us to Maggie's third touch of the footballer his third involvement in the game because he came under some pressure when he was trying to progress the, the play down the left flank right um very high almost to the the, the the corner flag right and he turned back the play to Maggie who was in a slightly deeper position right and Maggie now drifted into the half space on the left um, side of the pitch drifted into the half space and tried to play a one two with his Cassio Penn teammate a give and go right so he played it to the player who was who was in the half space right and the player you know tried to play a through ball to get Maggie in behind beer shots defensive line right and Maggie sh um, showed some speed which was a little bit surprising i don't know if his maggie has gotten more quick or the bear shot defender was just slow but he made up some ground on him very quickly and you know almost surpassed him almost got him behind the bear shot defensive line but the player you know the bear shot defender made a sliding tackle right and nicked the ball um basically knocked it onto maggie and it went out for a uh, goal kick so basically the bear shot player just barely got to the ball just before Tyreek McGee, right? On another play, a Cassio Penn player played the ball to McGee who was out left, right? And McGee, a, a player tried to close McGee down very quickly and McGee kind of did a little drop off the shoulder and evaded that challenge and then passed it back to his central midfielder so that was another play right and we're going through most of Tyreek's important plays are his important involvements in this particular game right his next touch was a give and go between him and his central midfielder so his central midfielder you know played the ball to Tyreek Maggie played a forward pass to Tyreek Maggie right and Tyreek Maggie made a one touch layoff back to the same central midfielder it was a give and go and then the central midfielder now passed the ball to an attacker who was in behind the bear shot midfield line 
right and this play eventually ended up with Cassiou Pen in Bear Shot's penalty box but unfortunately the Cassiou Pen attacker got crowded out and couldn't get his shot off and eventually lost the ball right and another play and this was a particularly interesting play because Tariq Maggie kind of got himself into a slight into a into a, 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 a goal scoring opportunity kind of and I'll explain why so it was a short low cross right from the right hand side of the pitch right into Maggie who was sent who was central in the penalty box in a poacher sort of position right and Maggie then laid it off right to a teammate who was on the edge of the penalty box right and the teammate took the shot but he dragged the he dragged the shot wide it was a poor shot right and this this particular play while it wasn't a bad play from Tyreek Maggie the angle was a bit difficult for me to see but I, I have to ask the question if Tyreek Maggie was right footed right if Tyreek Maggie was right footed would he have been able to have you know got the shot off because he was closed down very quickly by the center back to be fair right but and and as i said the angle was a bit difficult for me to see exactly if there was a if he could have taken a one-time shot if maggie could have taken a one-time shot the angle was a bit difficult for me to see if a shooting channel was open right it would have been open very briefly though to be fair to maggie i just have to ask the question you know if maggie was right footed could he have either taken a, a one-time shot or could he have kind of taken a, a, a touch right and kind of create a, a half a yard of space for himself and then get the shot off with his right foot right either way i don't think he made a bad play in the end but we still have to ask our questions if maggie still have to ask the question if maggie was right footed you know could this have been a goal scoring opportunity gone begging for Terry maggie to be fair though the, the player that he laid it off to could have done much better in this particular situation right and his very last involvement in the game now Terry maggie played two given goals right maggie played two given goals right so he played a given goal between another player and then played another given goal between another player and this was you know basically he linked up well with his teammates right about midway his attacking half right and this particular exchange or this particular link up play between him and his teammates played a very important role in the build-up play for the third goal right so you know Maggie right then and there in that particular situation playing an important role in the build-up play for the third goal right so um there were two particular occasions though so that particular play was good from Tyree Maggie as well very good for Maggie to play a very important role in build-up play you know for a goal in basically I mean let's call it his first Belgian Pro League appearance right to be fair to the player we can't really judge him uh, for the minute or two that he played you know the other day in, in Belgium right there were two occasions though where you know I thought Maggie could have done better you know there was one particular play where he started tracking the run of a player on the left hand side of his defensive third right he did not continue tracking the run of the player right and hence this resulted in the player right right at the byline getting comfortably being able to get across into UPenn's penalty box right if Maggie had continued to track the run of this particular player right the player would not have been able to make that run in behind the cast you pen defense and get that crossing so comfortably luckily for maggie it was a poor cross so while i do think that maggie has has you know improved greatly where his off the ball work rate is concerned it's still a bit inconsistent and also there is another pass where Tyreek maggie he, he switched the play from the left hand side to the right hand side of the pitch right 
I mean, yes, it wasn't a bad play, but I did see a much better and a much easier pass available, a forward pass that was available to him where he could have played the ball to his forward who was occupying some space in between the bear shot midfield and the bear shot defensive line, right? I thought that that was the better pass, right? The pass that he played was the harder pass and it was also, you know, it was it was it was not the best passing option right there was a better passing option right that he should have he should have played and also it was the harder passing option as well right but all in all i think Tyreek Maggie looked comfortable right and i think that this performance is a very very encouraging sign to me personally so i am very happy that Tyreek Maggie has gotten these amount of minutes under his belt and hopefully the player can build off this going forward so guys that's my two cents take care stay safe and until next time